Hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Libby, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kiana. Hi, Kiana. Oh, just hey, Patrick. Nice to see you. I'll yeah. leave you guys too. I'll be back in 15. Yeah. Hey, Patrick, have we met before, darling? We haven't. No, I, I, I meant to come and see you last year in the UK, the Student Star events, but it was cancelled, oh, of course. Oh, with Barry. Beautiful Barry. He sent me a birthday message. I was so tardy yeah. in my response. It took me bloody a week to get back to him, but... Mm. He's so thoughtful and he's still trying to move it, Patrick, and make it work for us. So Manchester, I think it's Manchester I booked it I have next year. Oh, is it Manchester? So we, but weren't we going to be Birmingham? Uh, London, I, I forget again, it's been such a while, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, Birmingham, Glasgow, and um, yeah, Birmingham, Glasgow. We you, would sure see, you would Celia, aren't you, this time, aren't you, yeah? Celia and Pamela, is it, or? Uh, Celia and Nicole De Silva. All right, all right, so that's right, yeah. I, yeah. I, think, I think Nicole... I think, no, not Nicole. Nicole's not coming here. She's not, I think. Oh. Oh, Celia and Kate, maybe? I think Kate. That's a Kate Atkinson, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Libby, we'll get down to it, okay? <laughs> we have okay, little time. Perfect. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Ireland, anyway, first of all. Say that again, darling. Greetings from Ireland. Greetings from Ireland. I do love Ireland. Oh my God, I love your accent. Yeah. And I love the laid back, cruisy Irish people. Libby, your husband is Ryan and your son is Tig. That's more Irish than anybody else. Tig Ryan is the most Irish name ever. <laughs> Can you say Tig again for me? Tig. Tig. See, now you beautiful Irishmen say it perfectly. They pronounce the HG. They Tig. Well, hello, Tig. And the Scottish and, state gorgeous. All right, Scottish, crazy. yeah. Yeah. If you watch the movie The Field with Richard Harris, he's someone's called Ty in that movie as well. Which movie? The Field. Okay, I'll look it up. Yeah. With, with Richard with, with Richard Harris, he's someone's called Ty, played by Sean Bean. Okay, Field. But the movie's called Field. The, the Field. The Field. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, Is there I'll Irish? It. Is your husband an Irish ancestry? Or uh, my no, I'm not married. It's my ex. I have oh, to your say, ex, yeah, okay, so, yeah. so his father's look. We've all got Irish ancestry. I mean, my grandpa grandparents are Irish. Were they're gone now? Bless them. But they've had Irish and Scottish. But yeah. and my grandfather, who I never met, my father's father, he died before I was born. He was a full blooded Spaniard. All right, yeah. So well, I think but, that's where I get my puffy eyes, my skinny long nose from. <laughs> but I would love to, I just want to put a poncho on and drink some sangria and dance on my little Spanish table over there. And I can't wait to go back to Spain. I've got this real fiery thing inside me that people mm. either love me or hate me for, Patrick. And I think it's the Spanish in me. I really do. Have you been to Ireland? Have you, um, Libby? Well, I did when I was a little girl, probably five years old with my parents when we traveled then. But no, yeah. I haven't been um, recently. So the, oh, look, I got to Glasgow and loved it. Green Star and events, I, yeah. Yeah, I really want to go to Ireland. I'd be so happy to go there and have a pint with you, Patrick. When the, pubs, have, when the pubs will open, Libby, that's really, that's really it. Like it's, you're still in lockdown, we're over here as well. It's just going on such a long time. We're kind of getting there now. The vaccines are being rolled out. We're getting there. It's going to take a little while more, like, you know. Yes, yes. It, 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 are you saying that they're closed now? Still closed. All pubs, all restaurants, schools, everything. Hairdressers, you know, every, all amenities actually out there. It's still going on. But it's we're getting there now. We are quite... I was around, like, Dublin. I live in Dublin myself. I was around Dublin today and was walking around. And people are coming out now. They are more as well around, you know, to go... You know, they're getting, they're getting frustrated and they want to kind of get out with life. Though. But the vaccines are being rolled out. That's the main thing, like, you know. And tell me, Patrick, is everybody keen to take the vaccine? Are they all really... Most people actually are. Most people actually are, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's so th quite the majority in Australia are too, but there's quite a lot in our society who are like, uh, 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 don't you jab me and don't you control my life. I don't want to have a jab. Mm -hmm. And so I have to work or go to the pub or do all this stuff. They're really worried that... Um, that the, 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 the new world, the new order is going to take hold. Everyone's and, different anyway, like, Libby, that's the way it actually is. But Australia, you'll be looking off, like, you know, I, you know you'll be looking up with the virus. You kind of put it down, like, to a level, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely 
had, not so much in Melbourne. I'm, I'm an hour out of Melbourne. The poor Melbourneites had, were locked down for four yeah, months. Yeah, I saw that year too, yeah. But, um, I was they, asked... definitely, they, they nailed it. They did. They mm. nailed it. Yeah. I was in Australia myself five years ago to the shore of the country. I did Melbourne, Sydney, did Brisbane, you? Quincy, and Canberra, yeah. Oh, you really got around. Good on you. I've not even been to Canberra myself. Capital, yeah, it's <laughs> I, nice. And I really want to get to um, Alice Springs. I can't believe I haven't been to Alice Springs, but I've been to Darwin. But Catherine was one of my most favourite places with the gorge and the, mm -hmm. even the crocodiles didn't worry me. And yeah, beautiful country, Australia. Yeah, it's big, con big country as well, of course, like, you know. Massive, massive. Okay, and I um... Yeah, well, we continue on. So, um, we, 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 our time is quite limited, like Libby. What part, of, what part of Melbourne are you living in? So I'm an hour out of Melbourne, towards um, uh, towards Ballarat way. So All inland, right. kind of away from the coast. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, nice country, nice yeah. country. I travelled all around as I told you that time anyway. But Wentworth, oh God, Libby, Wentworth really was. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Have you watched it all, darling? I've watched it all. Bridget, she was, I have to say, though, very clever as she was. Very sophisticated, you know, very kind of... She saw what Joan Ferguson was like. You know, not Vera. Vera really was just... Did. Yeah. Yeah, she was the I, one loved that kind of, I loved her. And I loved her strength working with Joan mm. Ferguson and the beautiful Pamela Ray. And what a, what a majestic woman and so tall. And I could hardly keep up with her doing those corridor scenes, you know, because I'm, I'm quite, quite um, you know short <laughs> and I'm five two I think she's six two or something but mm -hmm. to, to, to a woman of her stature and her presence she's a great actress she is a lot of a lot of strength I found just by playing Bridget I found for Libby mm -hmm. you know so it was fantastic experience but she, she saw what she was like I mean you saw there as well that she Jodie Spiteri at that time as well, she knew that she was abusing her. She said to Vera as well, you better be careful, You'll, you know, she might take you down with you. And she was the one that kind of, was the first person kind of, Vera kind of saw, like, that knew what she really was like, you know? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was I'm clever. Glad, she was, I'm so glad that she came back and did the final yeah. Oh, that, that scene. How could you get rid of Pamela Ray, Patrick? I mean, not for one second, how could you get rid of her, you know? I Just think, though, true. they should have left her, I think, because the last, this, if you're, you're still watching the show, yeah? Oh, absolutely. She she was, no doubt, and Vera, my favourite character. Vera. There's a lot of actresses in the show now that could move it on, but in a way, bring her back was, I think, a little bit far-fetched myself, personally. But, you know, she's a good actress. She, it's the last series now, so they'll finish it out, whatever they'll have in store for her. Yeah. Oh, she will always go on. She, she does a lot of theatre, so that's very yeah. exciting. The theatre to, to start reopening again because exactly. she's she's very big in Australia. She's, she's actually doing a play at the moment now in Sydney with an Irish actress as well. She's thing too. I just saw her as well recently. Oh, fantastic! Oh, yeah, if you ever get the chance, Patrick, to see her on stage, it is a must. She it did an Irish. She did an Irish play once, The Beauty Queen of Lanan, many years ago as well here in Ireland with Maggie Kilpatrick as well. So um, that was many years ago as well too. Oh, uh, do you do theatre as well? Because you said no, like I, you I, I watch a lot of theatre. I go to a lot, a lot of theatre in the UK and Ireland, of course, as well. Like, and I've been to the Belvoir in Sydney as well. Oh, the Belvoir. I've done yeah. a play at the Belvoir. Very good. Maybe. Can it be she? Um, Bridget, though, as well. One thing about her as well. Um, her lines as well to, towards Joan. You really are a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? Oh, my God, Patrick. I mean... For me to read that in the script on my eyes with like cartoon, I boggled out. Went, wow, I absolutely get to say. Yeah. Uh, and my grandfather would say, oh my God, Libby's misbehaving on the television again. <laughs> but to say, you know, and it was so precious, our moment mm. together. But Frankie, Saying, of course, yeah, yeah, Frankie, of course, Nicole de Sylvia, you had such great chemistry you had, you had on screen, of course, as well. It was, it was yeah. a good relationship, it was. You cannot explain the chemistry that we had. It just popped yeah. out out of nowhere and, it, and Nicole and I have no idea but they 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 worked so beautifully together I think yeah. Frankie wouldn't have survived the one out Bridget Westfall like being there with her actually either I think she was the real person that kind of really she kind of stood by her she kind of like you know fought for her if it hadn't been for, for Bridget I think Nick, Nikki Frankie would have died in there she would have I think, I think you know too in some ways like you know oh she gave her so much hope for, for, for the future and that's all you need is to keep looking forward a little bit you know, and to have that hope because the the, the characters in there, it, it, the saddest thing in the world is to see somebody give up hope. Mm -hmm. you know? So you're right. You, um, she she was, yeah. 
very clever, very sophisticated woman she was, Bridget. She really kind of, you know, she got, you know, to, like she saw what the people were kind of like and Vera was took on her side and it was a good thing. It was, you know, too. So it was good. Good story. Yeah. Good. We watched it all, of course. Now, I'm all saints you were in, Nibia. <laughs> You've done all your homework, Patrick. I'm so I've never actually. It was shown in Ireland. It was here many years ago. I never actually watched maybe one episode of actually two. Was it Judah McGrath, the late Judah McGrath, yeah? My beautiful friend, Jude. So who was on the original Prisoner as well. Yeah, yeah, and John Howard. The, too. the reimagining of Prisoner, but Jude and I were on uh, All Saints for five years. Jude did the whole 12 years of All Saints. I did the first five years, mm. and I left when my now daughter, she's 19 now, I left when she was eight months old. So mm. that's going back, Patrick. Mm. <laughs> but I, I, didn't, I didn't actually watch You see, our student TV has been shown here for many years. We've home and away, like neighbours, all that. Uh, you know, all the blue, he blue healers, water rats, everything. We see. They all show all the Australian TV here. And you're such a small country with actors. You kind of all know each other in some ways. They all work together as well, haven't you? Like, Absolutely, no? darling. Yeah. yeah, you hit the nail on the head because it's such a small industry. We're like a back mm. shed compared yeah. to America. But, yeah, um, there was Tammy McIntosh, Celia Island on All Saints and also Wentworth. Mm. And the beautiful, you know, Jude McGrath being on the original. John Howard Chris as well, yeah. John Howard? John Howard, yes. Yeah. He was... Mm. He was on prisoner, was he? I don't particularly. I didn't. Yeah, well, I thought maybe he, he might. He may have been. Yeah. He, no, he was on All Saints, definitely. I left by the time he came on, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's you know, you, you, it's a big family, and it's cliche, but honestly, every time you go to work, uh, you get to work with somebody, you know, either mm. in the in the crew or the cast, and you'll be staring down the camera, and the clapper loader will be there, and you say, "Hang on a minute, I know your face." Yes, Libby, it was 20 years ago on Pacific Drive. And go, oh, my God. <laughs> it is. It's very, we're all wearing glasses. And now. Pacific Drive as well. Pacific Drive, yeah? Yes, Pacific Drive. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I loved Pacific Drive. It was my first TV gig. And, oh, it was a scream, you know. Did you ever scream. do Home and Away or Neighbours? So like, all oh, I was the actors. <laughs> I did. A couple of oh. um, characters on Neighbours. Yeah. Like, you can't really get through a career in Australia without doing something yeah. on Neighbours. But I think Wentworth too, you see, for me, like Wentworth has put on all, all of you like internationally, like, you know, famous because if you watch Wentworth, you know a character and because it's, it's such a great show. And like, and you played the psychologist in it as well. So you had a good, you had a very good major role in the show as well. Like, you know. Fabulous. Wasn't it lovely to be able to facilitate all the other characters in it, you know? And great to work with, with Danielle and Pamela and Nicole. Like it was such oh, a great yeah, team in there as well. Amazing, amazing! All fearless actors and absolutely incredible to work with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was one of those shows you just go it had the X Factor, Patrick. You know, you mm. just think, well, let's hope we get to do another X Factor show. Maybe that's that? why they call that show the X Factor. You know, because yeah. it bloody well works. You don't really know why, but it's fabulous. Was time. it sad to say goodbye when you left that time? Like when you're written out yourself, Nicole, to say to the cast, but you probably knew yourselves. Like you know, what what time you had left on the show? Like to be in it. Well, look, it, it, it always is sad, but, it, but it's exciting to go to the next show too. And I'm doing um, Back to the Rafters now, which is six years on after Pack to the Rafters finished in Australia. So the American Amazon group picked it up. And that's mm -hmm. really exciting too, because I'm now working with Eric Thompson, who was on Pacific Drive and, and All Saints. And now I'm working with him on Back to the Rafters. And we haven't been together for 20 years, you know. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful Rebecca Gibney out of Wanted, I get to work with her and we've never worked together before. And that's really exciting. We get to do a second season, hopefully mm -hmm. this year. Uh, COVID saw us break it for six months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we actually squeezed one season in there and it'll come out in September, Patrick. So keep your eyes. I will, yeah. Your ears open for that one because it's a lovely, completely, you know, like a family drama, really mm -hmm. easy going. Nobody's getting stabbed and there's nobody crying or falling down <laughs> drunk. Or, <you> know. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. It was all just, it's just a beautiful story. And, and, and that's why I like keep moving forward, you know, the next mm -hmm. thing, because after a while, you've got to leave a story alone and leave it complete with its nice little bow in it. And if, if Wentworth kept going, it might have turned into, you know, something else, a bit mm -hmm. soapy or something. It was yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, well at the first, yeah. Will you watch the, the last series, season nine now, will you, yeah? Second part of series eight? Oh, I can't, I can't wait to see the last Season. Yeah, yeah, it's been interesting oh what'll happen. God. Season eight was whoo, 
fantastic fun to watch. And um, so, yeah, the Pamela Ray, as was Yeah, saying, exactly. If it ever comes back again, like in time to come, because we know it's the last series, would you ever return again to do like um, Bridget and Frankie, just say in 10 years time, somewhere down the line again? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. you would, yeah. That would be good to see you, yeah, Libby, yeah. Why not? I mean, that was such a special couple together, you yeah. know, so much love. And so why not share that love and bring it back as we grow older? Yeah. I think it's a really important thing to they do. Might have had, like, they might have surrogacy, like they might have, you know, a daughter or a son who actually, you never know, like, you know. You never know, you know. You never, you never know, know, you know. And Nicole is lovely, of course she is. Nicole is still as beautiful as she is. Oh, she's absolutely amazing to work with. Incredible girl, you know. So we look forward to seeing what she's doing next. And if it ever came up, I'd be a great big fan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, absolutely. you know. Yeah. And Libby, my cousin had a baby today as well. She called it Jack, actually, oh. as well. She's a big win for a fan. Her name is Ashley. If you want to say hello to her? What's her name? Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Oh, Congrats. congratulations. You've just had baby, a baby. Yeah, baby Jackie. She's a massive fan of Wentworth. She is too, yeah. Oh, a baby boy, did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, Ashley. I bet the whole world looks completely different to you now. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And and even the trees would look different, Having a little, bringing a little baby boy into the world. Mm -hmm. That's really you something. Mu you must come back to Ireland again someday. You must, Libby, as well, too. Oh, I'd love to have a come. Pike with you, Patrick. Exactly. And, and your son as well, Pike, the Irish name. Tiger Ryan is the most Irish name ever, like it actually is. Yeah, but it's 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 Ty Tanner Ryan. <laughs> all right, okay. How's your family? They're all good, your family, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to meet you over there one day, darling. I love Ireland. And I'm so glad to meet you today. Exactly. Yeah. Let's hope this coronavirus will pass and we can all go back to normality again and travel where we want to go, oh. okay? Yeah, yes, let's please. open up and rejoice. Yeah. Mm. I will enjoy series nine. We'll enjoy the last series of Wentworth and we'll okay. Thanks, You're Patrick. Fabulous energy. Take care, darling. Thanks for your All the best. Bye, Kiana. Bye. Thank you. Have a great night. Them too. Oh. Bye, sweetie.